What's up, guys? BQ49 here. We are back on the Desolation map, and today we are going up. <laughs> it's been a while since we've worked on them all. I know. I've been off on other projects, doing other things. The Cyber Subscriber Shavaganza Bonanza took a lot of my time. So s progress on the mall has slowed significantly. But I picked it up again, and we got a big chunk of it done today. We're going to work on it a little bit as I go around and try to... Put some little details in. You know, we don't have to find detail point yet, but I do want to finish the first floor before I move on to the second floor. So I'm trying to wrap up some loose ends. We still have a lot of redstone work to go. Now, uh, I know I've showed you redstone in the past and I showed you what's down there, but I think that's all going to have to change, guys. I really do. I went for too much. <laughs> it's not Chaos's fault. Chaos did what I asked him to do. I want it, basically what, this is what I want it. I'll tell you what we have now and what I want to have in the future. So basically this mall is two floors, you know. There's the first floor, the second floor. There's also a basement, but we don't count that. And there's also going to be an ice skating rink underneath the mall as well. So this is more, more than two floors, but there's two shopping floors. Now each floor has lights on the ground and security gates on these shops. So I wanted four switches. I wanted you to be able to control everything. You, there's four things you could control. The lights upstairs, the lights downstairs, the gates upstairs, and the gates downstairs. I wanted you to have that kind of control over them all. I don't know if it's because of the redstone. I don't know what's going on, but we're experiencing some lag during multiplayer events. Ah, in my experience, if there's lag, usually it's because of some sort of redstone. We have done, we have taken extraordinary measures to reduce all entities on this map, all fires, all running uh, liquids. If there's lag on this map, it ain't coming from me, okay? I mean, it might be just the sheer amount of blocks placed in this world, who knows? I don't know how the how the algorithm, <laughs> algorithms work, to be honest with you. But, uh, yes, we're getting some choppiness, and I don't like it. I don't like it. It hurts PvP, and it hurts my experience and enjoyment of this game. So, what my plan is to do is to have all those four items, those four things I just mentioned, I want to have those all on the same switch. So it's off and on, basically. And that's going to cause a huge lag spike. A gigantic lag spike. I understand that. But... There's no way around it, really. We can put the, all the lights on timers so that it's not as big of a lag, lag spike as it would have been without it. Uh, so the timers will help. Yeah, it's not going to be good. But what else can we do? And uh, we'll also put a five-minute timer on there so people can't sp uh, spam the button. Because that's one of my fears is people spamming the button and it's constant lag until the game crashes. I do not want that. So we're going to put a five-minute timer on the thing. And that'll help uh, deal with that issue. So right now I'm putting these support struts things, <laughs> uh, pillars, <laughs> as they're otherwise known. And uh, I think these help the mall look a little bit more realistic. You know, something's holding this second floor up. Uh, I, I'm going to put a little bit more detail than what you see here. This is the first wave of details. I don't like a flat texture. You know, you see me, I use all that quartz for the ceiling there. And it's a flat, just quartzy, uh, flat surface, you know, and I, that's just my placeholder. That's just how I know where the floor is going to be. We're going to detail that right up. But first, I want to get these supports done. You know what I mean? So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get a few more of these done, then I'm going to cut it. Wait, no. <laughs> Strike that. Reverse it. I'm going to cut the video, get some more of these supports done, and then work a little bit more. So, I'll be right back with you guys. All right, I'm back. Got a little bit of work done here on the pillars. I'm kind of at a, a weird point in this build where I can't really finish the first floor until I start the second floor. And I don't want to start the second floor yet. <laughs> uh, I mean, I do, we're starting it. So I got up th this over here. I'm trying to kind of visualize where stuff is going to go. Basically, there's going to be a four block space in between this uh, level here and the new floor. This will be the new floor for the second floor. So look at all that space. And you're probably wondering, what are you going to do with all that space? Well, this is going to be redstone. All this under here is going to be redstone. So this is going to be like this. So come down like this. We got a lot of bedrocking to do, guys. Oh, man. I'm not looking forward to all this bedrocking. Speaking of which, Brown Box helped me out today a bunch. 
he brown box he brown box <laughs> he bedrocked a whole bunch of stuff thank you brown box for your help with that we're gonna be starting a costco real soon costco i cannot wait you guys are gonna love the costco there's gonna be so much pvp in there you guys, it's gonna blow your mind another thing i wanted to show you was a little bit of the center area i improved this a little bit i got some more fake trees <laughs> they're not supposed to look real they're supposed to look fake because everything in the mall is fake, guys. Everything. You're buying fake happiness. We also got some escalators. Oh, I love the way these came out. The way they glow with the lights on. I'm going to put a support pillar here so it doesn't look like they're just floating. Same with this side. Support pillar. They're identical as far as I can tell. I was trying to make them identical. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? I'm sure they are. But yeah, uh, escalator that's no longer working. You have to jump up. So it's going to be a little bit of a chore to get to the second floor. You're going to have to waste some energy. And uh, it's not going to be easy to run away from someone uh, who's chasing you up to the second floor. So I hope you guys are pretty good at the A button. <laughs> a lot of jumping. Oh, a lot of work to do in this mall. I'm... You know, I, I am looking forward to the second floor. I mean, we still have to do a lot of work down here. There's a lot to do. It's going to be a, a long process, but you know, we don't have to do it all at once. We can start working on the Costco. We can keep working on our skyscraper. We can come back to the mall whenever we feel like it, basically. That's how I really treat this map is, you know, a lot of people are saying, oh, today I'm building something and they keep building it until it's done. That's not the way I operate. The way I operate is I have nine or 10 projects going at once. And I'll do a little bit of one project until I reach uh, a standstill. Then I'll go back and I'll think about what I could add to that project and how I can improve it. And time will pass and I'll get better at building. I'll have new techniques. And uh, I'll incorporate those new techniques into my old build. And uh, it works very well. It makes every building on the map look new. You know what I mean? Like, like it belonged in this update. Like I made it yesterday. You know, even though I built that building over a year ago, you know, I've updated it and I've worked on it recently. So now it looks like my building skill from now. <laughs> so that's how I kind of get around the whole, oh, this building looks old thing. Don't finish the building, guys, if you're not confident that it, when you do finish it, it's going to be your best work. You know what I mean? If you're, if you're going to finish it and not be happy with it, don't finish it. Start something else. There's no reason to rush through anything. Time is not a factor in Minecraft, guys. There's no boss breathing down your neck, <laughs> unless you work for, I don't know, Mojang or 4J. There's no boss breathing down your neck. You can take your time and do it right. And that's been my motto from the very beginning of Minecraft, all throughout this game. A lot of people are asking me, how, Bean, how long is this going to take to finish? And the answer, the real answer is, I don't care. I don't care. As long as it's finished at some point, and it's finished the way I want it to be finished. Does that make sense? It better make sense. All that matters to me is getting my idea down on paper, <laughs> on digital paper. Uh, I don't care how long it takes or what kind of sacrifices I have to make. It's going to get done because it's the arch that wants to come out of me, basically. And uh, most people don't express themselves through malls. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. That's me. I'm a weirdo. What could I say? You just got to roll with it. <laughs> so if you're a weirdo too and you express yourself creatively through Minecraft, don't ever stop. Take your time. Do it right. Treat it as art. Don't treat it as a video game that you know you have to rush through to complete. You know, treat it as art, and it will it will reward you handsomely. So I'm gonna keep working on this mall. Got a lot to go, but that's okay. I'm enjoying it. I'm having fun. Little bit at a time. Little bit at a time. Well, that that's gonna end this episode. Until next time, you know, keep uh keep building. Keep the faith. Don't get discouraged, guys. It'll all happen in the end. Trust me on that. So I'll leave you with that. Like this if you liked it, of course, and share and subscribe. And thank you guys for watching and all your, all your great comments. I really do appreciate them. Happy Minecrafting. Have a good day. Peace.